Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you. That way. Well, hello, and thank you for joining me here today on my channel. In case it's your first time, my name is Ange, aka 50 Cents UK and I am so appreciative that you have chosen to click on my video today, sending you lots of love. Subscribers, old and new, I appreciate each and every one of you. So, without further nattering, let's get down to business, guys. So, are we all ready for summer? Because I know I am. It's been a minute since we've been free, since we've been able to enjoy the nice weather. And guys, now that we can, it's so exciting. I mean, what plans has everybody got? Have you got plans? Are you going anywhere? Let me know in the comments and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You're here to see what my 10 hot summer fragrances are. Now guys, I'm not traditional as in like, I'll wear anything at any time. So don't take this as gospel, okay? Wear what you want, when you want, rock those perfumes. Doesn't matter if they're heavy and they're meant for winter. Who cares? Who gives up? Mm? You know, because I don't. These are just my picks. These are ones that I like to wear when the weather is warm. But if you've got any that you like to wear that are not in this list, let me know. I'd love to know. So the first one that I want to share with you is this one. Now this is forever going to be in my collection. Actually matches me today because of that lovely green liquid. This is Chanel's Chance O Fresh. Guys, you know I'm not really into freshies, I'm not really into citruses, but I will make an exception for this darling, darling perfume. I love it. So this is a woody, citrusy fragrance. It has vetiver in it, it has patchouli, it has musk. So it has a kind of a masculine vibe about it, but it's so fresh, it's so clean, it's so uplifting, it's so invigorating. This is the kind of fragrance you wanna wear when you're gonna be active for the day, when you feel sporty, when you feel like you've got loads of energy, this is the one I would go for. I've worn this one to the gym. You can smell it all around you. It's not the best at lasting. It's not the strongest perfume, but to me, it's just got that right balance for what I need when I want this type of fragrance. So yeah, it's light, it's airy. As I said, it's fresh, it's clean. It just makes you feel full of energy, full of good vibes, like nothing's gonna bring you down. So yeah, that is Chance O Fresh. If you haven't had a chance, get it, chance to smell it. Sorry, that was terrible. If you haven't had the opportunity to smell this one, I would say go in store, check it out, see how it is on your skin, because obviously everybody's skin's different, but I really do recommend this one. Okay, so the next one from the House of Mugler pretty new to my collection is this one and this is Angel Iced Star. Guys, if you like pineapple, if you like coconut, if you like sweet, juicy, this is the one. I mean, look at the bottle for a start. It's so gorgeous. So this is nothing like original Angel. This is more of a tropical take on Angel. As I said, it's that pineapple. It hits you straight away. The coconut, I would say, is a bit more subdued. It's there, but it's not dominant. It's it's more the fresh, juicy, sweet pineapple that you're getting from this. And yeah, it's, it's tropical vibes all the way. You know, like if you're going carnival, any carnival, anywhere, this reminds me of like carnival in a bottle. You know, like when you're at carnival and you're just winding up and you're dancing and you're drinking your rum and you're just feeling the vibes. Smell like this puts you in the zone. So that is Angel Eye Star. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm saying about carnival, guys. You get where I'm coming from. Okay, so this next one, guys, is a little bit more polite. 
So you're not going to be winding up in carnival with this one. Well, I wouldn't anyway. But this is Dolce Shine. This is a bit more classy, feminine, ladylike. So it's a nice citrusy tropical floral there's mango in the top of this which makes it really tropical which i love there's all grapefruit tuberose jasmine white mask and in the base you've got some lovely smooth sandalwood so yeah this is princessy to me guys you know you've got some fragrances that are diva like some are queen like to me this is princessy yeah so it's that kind of like young fresh floral fragrance very polite it's not going to offend anyone it's cute it has moderate longevity yeah i really enjoy it so that is dolce shine love the color as well okay guys so next up for that hot summer that we're all wanting is a more affordable option and this is britney spears's festive fantasy Forget the name, it's not Christmassy, okay? To me, this has got nothing to do with the festive season. To me, this is much more of a summer vibe. It's fruity, it's got cherry in it, it's got plum in it, makes it really juicy and delicious. This has got floral, so it's got freesia, lily, I think there's jasmine, I know there's sandalwood in the base, you've got musk, you've got vanilla, you've got sugar. So guys, to me, this is perfect for the summer, you know. This is very playful, very flirty. You really do get that plum. It's juicy, that's all I can say. This is really juicy. This is nice for the beach. This is nice for an evening. It's quite sexy. It's young, it's playful, it's inviting. Nothing not to like and amazing price. Okay, longevity, you're not gonna get fantastic longevity out of this, but you pop it in your bag, you spritz it on whenever you fancy and you're good to go. What's not to love? So this next one, guys, I am head over heels in love with this one. I haven't stopped wearing it and it is Amouage's Sunshine Man. Guys, like to me, this is a masterpiece, okay? I don't say that very often, but to me, this is everything. Like this is everything. The performance is top notch. This is 10 out of 10, okay? This you're going to smell for days. If you spray this on your clothes, your bag, your scarf, inside your wardrobe, whatever the case may be, you're going to smell this for days, okay? And the longer it lingers, it just develops into the most beautiful fragrance, okay? So this has lavender, it has like an orangey smell, it's herbal, it's creamy, it's smooth. Guys, it's a little bit spicy, it's sexy, it's sensual. This is just, to me, like everything. I can't, I mean, you can tell that I love this perfume. So let me spray this baby. Oh, it's so beautiful. I cannot tell you. If you ever get a chance to smell this one, guys, it's not for everyone, okay? This is unique, but it's bougie. It's bougie but it's boozy as well because it has brandy in it okay guys what's not to love i'm telling you this is everything to me like i said not everybody's going to love this because it has a unique smell but i am in love with that unique smell okay you definitely get the orange the cedar the bergamot the tonka bean it is just a delightful delightful blend I can't explain it and like there is a slight spiciness to it that just gives it that kick that you're looking for this is not a light airy fragrance this is quite a heavy fragrance so some people might not even want to wear this in summer but to me listen I don't business I am wearing this all year round this is not just summer to me this is just any time because it's that fragrance okay so yeah Armouage Sunshine Man. Do get a tester of this if you can, because you might absolutely fall in love. So next up, a perfume that's complete opposite of Sunshine Man, but I do love it. And it is this one. It is Daisy Oh So Intense. Cute, cute bottle. 
guys, if you like strawberry, if you like pear, if you like those kind of sweet, girly, fresh kind of fragrances, I think you would like this. So this really does open with that fruity burst. The strawberry, yeah, straight away I'm getting strawberry, I'm getting the pear. So as this one dries down, you begin to get the honey, a bit of the jasmine. There is rose in this. I must say, I'm not really getting the rose, but there's a nice vanilla and musk in the base. Yeah, this is very girly and playful. I think you could wear this, you know, daytime, nighttime to work. It's light enough not to be offending anyone, but you can also smell it. As I said, it's that nice, fresh strawberry with the pear. Pear is one of my favorite notes in a fragrance. So to me, you can't go wrong with this. And you know, daisies are not known for their amazing longevity, but this one is particularly good. It's an intense version basically. So it's got okay performance in my book. And yeah, it's a really pretty, friendly, juicy, summery fragrance. This next one I absolutely love as well. I wear this all year round too. As you know guys I love my roses so I had to include a rose fragrance in this list and this is Miss Dior Rose and Roses. Guys look at the bottle it's so pretty. It's very classy. Guys this is to me a very young rose fragrance. It's not a grandma rose but it is very rose predominant. It's basically rose and musk to my nose. That is literally it. But it's kind of a sweet, playful rose. But if you don't like rose, don't touch this with a barge pole. But if you do like rose, you will love this. To me, this is just sassy. It's sophisticated. It has that element of being light and airy, but at the same time, you do really smell that rose. But as I said, it's a fresh rose. It's quite a sweet rose. It's not a grandma rose in my book. I don't think so, but I think any age can rock this and really and truly you can't go wrong. I do really like it. And I do think this one's quite underrated. I don't know why. But yeah, and look at the color of that juice. It's so cute. The next is this beauty, and this is La Via Belle Soleil Cristal. If you've got original La Via Belle, forget that. This is nothing like that, okay? So this is a much lighter, more tropical version of La Via Belle. And to me, it really doesn't have that much DNA of the original. This is predominantly coconut, guys, a floral coconut. And it's more of a fresh coconut. So it's not your creamy, sweet coconut. It's more like the coconut water. So it has a freshness to it, a slight greenness to it. There's, I think, fruity notes at the top, like there's mandarin and bergamot in this. There is vanilla, coconut, and patchouli in the base. And guys, the more I've been wearing this one, the more I'm liking it. I wasn't 100% sold when I first got this, but now I'm actually loving it. And you know what? I wore it to work the other day and I got a compliment. And you know, the compliment came from someone that I just do not vibe with, okay? And this person does not vibe with me either. And they were like, oh, you smell nice. And I was like, oh, thanks. I was thinking fake, fake, but you know, she liked the perfume, so I will allow it, you know. I will give this person a bligh. I'm hoping she meant it, because she doesn't normally speak to me, this person. But it's just the way she went, oh, you smell nice. And it just came across as fake, but I'm hoping that it was sincere. So yeah, try La Via Belle <laughs> Soleil Cristal if you're looking for that slightly more grown up tropical vibe. It's not overly sweet. So if you don't like anything too sweet or too cloying, you might enjoy this. And look at the bottle. I love it, it's pretty. This next one, guys, is an Alien Flanker. You know I love Alien if you've watched me before, but this is Alien Sun Essence Sapphire Soleil, I think. Guys, look at this. It's just like summer in a bottle. This is just basically grapefruit, tiare flower, and amber, and that is all you're getting in this. And it's the predominant grapefruit smell that I get. 
you do get the alien DNA. It's there in the background, but it's not predominant. So if you're expecting like just alien with a bit of citrus, no. To me, this is a fun version of Alien. I know some people think it's like air freshener-ish and I do get where they're coming from because that grapefruit is very, very sharp and it does smell slightly synthetic, but I don't care, I like it. I think this is very refreshing. This is very energizing again. It's not gonna offend anyone again. And yeah, I like it, it's a fun fragrance. There's nothing really not to like. So if you do like Alien, you are gonna get a bit of the Alien DNA in the dry down, but it's a much fresher, much more citrusy, as I said, very grapefruit domination, domination? Dominated perfume. Last, but by no means least, I got very kindly sent this fragrance by my lovely friend here on YouTube, Gabby, AKA the Fragrantician, and I'm talking about none other than Hot Couture. Guys, if you want a hot girl summer, Hot Couture, okay, by Givenchy. That's how Gabby says it. She says it with such a sexy French accent. I have no idea how she does it, but she says Givenchy. Yeah, stop Ange, you're no good at it. But anyway, Guys, this smells so good, okay? This was love at first sniff when I smelt this. This, uh, you just get that raspberry straight away. It's so fruity, it's so juicy, but it's grown woman, it's sexy, you know? This is beautiful. This is fruity, slightly woody, floral. There's a pepperiness in this, there's a smokiness in this. There's a smoothness in it because it has the musk and the sandalwood. I just really like this. I can understand why this is kind of like a cult classic. I can get why people love it. For me, it's those juicy raspberries when you first spray it that's just the star of this perfume. But as I say, this is a classic and I would recommend you smelling it if you haven't already because I am gonna be rocking this baby all summer long trust me. So thank you Gabster for sending me this classic and if you haven't checked out Gabby's channel, what the hell, why not? Go over there now, subscribe, show her some love. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below, just comment on anything you fancy, right? I don't mind, use the comment section to have a chat amongst yourselves if you want. I really don't mind. As long as you comment, that's all that matters. Thanks for watching and take care.